What if the purpose of procrastination is to stop self-expression? That's the concept we're going to look at in today's video. So I've got a really interesting question here, and this question is from Mika, and I want you to listen to this question and see if anything Mika is going through uh, resonates with you too. So as I said, we're going to talk about procrastination here. There's a few very common issues you'll see in Mika's question. But it starts off, it says, um, I've noticed that I keep putting off the things I don't want to do, and my day job is quite tedious and entails a long list of things I'd rather not deal with. I think we've all been there. So this is emails, proposals, writing reports, etc. While I'm hanging in there, barely, my tendency to put these things off and avoid them is bringing so much stress to my life. I delay and delay. I know if I just did the work, I'd have less stress. But another issue is that because of the stress, I don't feel able to spend time on the things I really care about. Things like being creative, uh, quality time with family, doing regular exercise, things like this. So I've heard you talk about guilt a lot with procrastination, but I don't really get how guilt is causing this. It just seems like an inability to do these tasks consistently. Any ideas? Okay, great question, Mika. So it just seems like an inability to do these tasks consistently. Therefore, our solution is just do the tasks consistently. Doesn't quite work like that, does it? You see, we're looking a little bit deeper to get to the, the issue here. And I mentioned, obviously, in, as Mika says there in previous videos, that the real reason we procrastinate is to do with guilt. It's a sort of a self-punishing activity that we engage in. Well, what is guilt, you could say? Well, guilt, one way to think about it, is guilt is anything that keeps you away from self-expression. Guilt, another word for it, is the defective story, there's something wrong with me, I'm not good enough, etc., etc. Because this self-concept is deemed unworthy, it has to be rejected and put away. The real self that lies underneath is never allowed space to be expressive. Now, we will have a lot of responsibilities in life. That's part of life. We do these responsibilities mainly for purposes of survival, not self-expression necessarily. So on one hand, we have all these things we're dealing with, all these, you know, these chores, these emails, proposals like Mika talks about. Not really things that would excite you or inspire you, but a part of life that needs to be taken care of. So the really interesting thing about this question is it seems like the creative things, the more enjoyable things in my life, I just can't get around to them, unfortunately, because of all the stress of procrastination. But what if that's the entire point of the procrastination? We're always bewildered by why we procrastinate, why we keep doing it again and again. But if you look a little bit deeper, you'll see that the real thing it's serving is to keep you away from self-expression, creativity, uh, passion, anything that really inter anything that isn't about basic survival needs. Okay. So the purpose is to keep you away from that. That's why we procrastinate, and it's because of this underlying guilt. The real, authentic self. It's not going to cut it. Therefore, we can't really allow too much of that self-expression, that creativity, that purpose, that passion to come out. Because that's real. That's the real deal. Now, there's nothing wrong with responsibility. But here's the thing. What's a really great way I could keep you away from self-expression, if I could, from the purpose and the creativity and the passion in life? If I, if I wanted to keep you away from that at all costs, well, what I do is I'd give you a whole bunch of responsibilities, but even still, you could just go and do the responsibilities. What I'd do is I'd give you the responsibilities and I'd do everything I could to make you do them badly. 
so that you're always stressed about it, you're always preoccupied with the difficulties and problems around taking care of these responsibilities. And it'll seem like the other aspect of life, the creative, the purposeful, meaningful part of life, self-expressive part of life, is something you just never get a chance to engage with. It's not because of busyness, it's not because of laziness, it's not because of any of these things. It's an underlying metaphysical dynamic that's taking place. So we want to kind of switch from always being in survival mode, being preoccupied with these responsibilities all the time. Because really what's happening is survival mode has become hide myself mode, right? So the best thing, Mika, for this is to realize that well, the tool you bring to this is, why am I procrastinating? Bring self-awareness to the whole thing. It's like, isn't it interesting for the last three months, for instance, I haven't done anything on those creative projects that I keep telling myself I'd like to do. And while I've been rationalizing that uh, avoidance, saying I'm too busy and I've got all this stress, and I, I know that th that feels very, very real. And of course, there are responsibilities and stress. But why is it that it always, for so long and predictably and consistently, keeps me away from anything creative? Isn't that interesting? Creativity, self-expression, this is authenticity. This is the real self. And that can't be put down unless there's this guilt that sort of is, is there to control it and keep it suppressed all the time. So the awareness is what we bring to it first. It's not these simplistic reasons why we procrastinate. It's actually a way to, unfortunately, to live with guilt as opposed to looking at the guilt, questioning it, correcting it, letting it go. That's really what we want to do with this defective story, this thing that there's something wrong with me. Life is not about survival. It's certainly a part of life. Responsibilities are absolutely fine. They're actually an important emotional need we have. But if we're constantly in survival mode, and we're constantly delaying and thinking it's okay to put off creative passion projects or things that I really care about or time with family or regular exercise, anything that isn't immediately about survival or firefighting or dealing with some kind of stress, which is you know when the nervous system is in that fight, flight or freeze response. We really need to get back in touch with that aspect of who we are. And that's a choice that we can make. It's a choice we can make when we become aware of actually, well, why am I doing this? Why has this happened? So it's really, it is due to the underlying guilt that we talked about, the defective story. So I've made other videos about that. It's about questioning that narrative. It's also about changing your story, changing your self-perception, changing the way you think and see yourself. And to see yourself as someone who deserves the space to be self-expressive. Yes, to take care of responsibilities, but life is not all about responsibility. It's a balance between our own emotional needs. Another book make it, you might find helpful is my other book uh, on emotional needs. It's called Forget Happiness. It's kind of more how to find a balance between our different emotional needs. The model I use has five emotional needs in it. Responsibility is one emotional need, but meaning, purpose, creativity is another one. And we, we often think that we, we have the luxury of, well, I just take care of the responsibility part and I'll put my head down and keep going with that. But we kind of have an obligation to meet meaning, purpose, and creativity in life too. Certainly if our own emotional well-being is, certain, is something that we value, we don't really have the option of delaying that uh, indefinitely. So Mika, I hope that's helpful. Really what I'm calling for here is greater self-awareness and questioning that narrative that says responsibility, 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 but also avoid it. Why would it want you to do that? Why would it hold up these problems and these stresses and these responsibilities and then do everything it can to keep you away from it? It's actually designed to keep you away from self-expression. So I know I'm repeating myself, but I hope there's some, some food for thought and maybe some insights into that. And. Um, I don't know, maybe you resonate with some of Mika's issues as well. And if so, I hope this was a useful video. And um, as always, guys, 
Thank you for being with me today. And I'll see you again very soon in the next video. Bye for now.